ever can ever my Gucci spanking skin rumptious delicious king too welcome to your low tarot reading today we are doing the classic you versus that we're gonna see what is going on between you and your person my baby my boo boo whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage all right so let's see please show me angels of love what is happening for cancer sun moon rising and Venus and your person we assume some kind of a rift or separation oh in the universe system and this is uh your may 2024 energy all right <laughs> but bill <sighs> yes and no <gasps> yes and no why yes and no and why you have someone who's feeling real defensive about what happened between two people here they're feeling defensive they're fe feeling like they have to defend themselves and protect themselves like you've even said uh to you in a conversation you know i have to protect myself or i have to make sure that i'm okay first there's something here about someone always thinking about themselves and uh, being focused on themselves they do see um as someone who's trying to work it out somehow the three of pentacles but also this person could have accused you of cheating accused you of putting other things above them Whatever that may have been, could have been work, could have been another person, could have been your friends, could have been a community. It's something that you love, like a hobby. Let me pull one more card on this person. Cancer, uh, this person is kind of dead set on you, but there's something about him that's annoying, self-serving, and selfish. You got the, uh, the world here. So it's someone who's on the defensive, they could have gone home. Someone went home, whatever that means. Mm, maybe home to their parents uh, for some of you maybe it's someone who um, went traveling or went back to a place that gives them peace but it is someone who um feels very far away from you right now but them it's gonna be okay so let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so uh also keeps your welcome to blue angel love tarot i love you i see you i appreciate you give your mommy a kiss Mm. Give me another kissy. Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps your mommy out. Uh, all right, my bippers. So let's see what happened in the past. Also, babies, I'm traveling again around Cyprus, so it's very exciting. Do you like the trees? <laughs> I like the trees. Tell me if you like. Tell the tree hi. Tree says hi. All right. Uh, so <laughs> the spirit of the tree, the Queen of Swords. Um, in the past, this is someone who came in ve very cool and calculated. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you went on Tinder on the Tuesday. This is someone who came in from a past relationship, already feeling, already feeling on the defense. There's a lot of defensiveness to this person. There's a lot of like, I'm not gonna do that. Don't expect this from me. I'm, you know, I did that once before and it didn't work out for me. It's that kind of a situation. Uh, between you, the two of pentacles. So it could have been a long distance situation or it could have been someone who made you feel like they weren't sure about um, a commitment or a relationship. <laughs> and you felt mystified. You got the high priest out here, King Sir Mepipu. You felt like that this person was, wasn't being honest. On the one hand, it, it was like mixed signals. On the one hand, they were uh, they were giving you that one pentacle, but then taken away with the other hand. So they they were giving you some commitment, or they were giving you some clarity. Because not everybody wants commitment. Maybe you didn't want uh, any commitment. You know, whatever it was that you wanted from them, you wanted clarity on it. And that person kept juggling something. You know, uh, could have been full of excuses. Could have been busy a lot. You know, that kind of a situation. And you felt like they weren't being honest with you. And you're right, they weren't being honest. But also, they weren't being honest with themselves. So uh, if it was an established connection, it was kind of the same thing. This person also had something looming over them. So it could have been a situation where there was always like the shadow of an ex in the relationship. Could have been because that person actually passed over to the other side. So there's always that, you know, like that, you know, that portrait hanging on the wall. Like, you know, the old Mrs. De Winter kind of thing. And Daphne Du Maurier, if you're into that, let me know in the comments. I love, I love that novel and movie, the old one. All right, anyway, the first Mrs. De Winter. You know, it was that kind of a situation. You could never measure up. You feel like you never measure up. It could be that an ex was constantly involved in your life. You know, like you could have been married. There's two, two twos. So it could have been 20 years even. For some of you, maybe you, you were together 20 months in a partnership, dating for t uh, two months, two years, whatever it was. Um, and X was constantly inv uh, involved. It's someone who's divorced, but they're still around. And that was causing problems and issues. 
your person's uh, feeling very defensive about this. I don't think they want. I don't think they want to admit just how much they hurt you and just how much they let that other like. There's another person here, you know. Uh, for some of you, could be uh, a mother-in-law as well. It could be a father-in-law, anyone in between. But I, uh, I'm getting a feminine energy. So good. It, it's just someone who's like staring the pot and involving themselves in things <coughs> that do not concern them baby daddy baby, baby mommy energy um your person's feeling real sad real down the ten of swords they feel like they let themselves down but they also like i feel like they still don't get the fact that uh they did you a bit bill and they should have been better yeah the ten of wands they, they still don't get it but bill can't say even if you're still talking to this person i feel like they need another month maybe for some of you even another year to understand what what they're doing to understand how much they hurt you and to understand how much they disrespected you in many ways because you're listening there's somebody else here they're listening to uh there's like a sense from you that this person is never 100 percent involved um they feel very lonely without you they feel but they still feel angry and defensive they're like cancer why did you give me that ultimatum cancer why did you push me in that direction why didn't you just accept my uh, stupid behavior eventually this person is doing the right thing the king of pentacles so and again it's an interesting energy today i feel like it's one month to one year for some of you it's may 2024 now so <laughs> so take it as it resonates boo -boo. but this is someone who's taking a stand and they're doing the right thing eventually but it's taking a long time and then they are fixing the home the marriage the partnership they're giving you the commitment they were hoping for uh this is also someone who will eventually if this is a situation where it's a long distance relationship and you don't live together this is someone who will eventually say let's move in together you know like giving you the keys to their house you're giving uh, them the keys to your house that's what what they're gonna want to do question is cancer do you want it anymore all right so let's see what is the advice for cancer yeah six of swords think about how long you've been moving on for some of you <laughs> the car is out here Just give me one sec oh my gosh can you hear that one sec babe Oh my gosh, but it was a bunch of people on motorbikes. <laughs> it was kind of cool. All right. Um, so uh, the Six of Swords. Think about how long this person has allowed you to move on. For, for many of you, I feel like it's been six months. There's like, this reading is very like, it feels like it's months rather than days and hours. But, you know, take, take it as it resonates. Um, you know how it goes. You know your own story best. But yeah, the Six of Swords is reminding you that this person lets you move on they let you heal your own wounds and the longer it takes the harder it will be for them to make amends so what do you want cancer did you heal yourself can you trust this person to heal you what's it gonna be do you need a person who's gonna take care of you in, in your time of need there's other fish in the sea just remember that as well the two of wands you know don't be afraid to venture out there and see what is out there um Make sure you don't isolate yourself and you don't try and lick your wounds by yourself. Try and put yourself out there. Try and think long term. Try and think also in a global way. If it's a, a long distance connection you have, there's other long distance connections out there. You see what I'm saying? Just saying. All right, my baby, my kids here. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, you know what to do. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby, my papa. This way, please stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>